The 3D Warehouse Tools by CADMAN provide a suite of tools to quality check your models for managing and reviewing SketchUp models prior to uploading those files to 3D Warehouse. These quality check tools enable you to review the model, the nesting groups, model size, and remove any unnecessary lines, marks, etc. before you upload the model into 3D Warehouse. The commands are accessed from both the toolbar and a CADMAN 3D Warehouse Tools menu under Extensions. Quick Check and Count Stuff are selectable from the menu only. Select the geometry to be reviewed and the component is colored according to levels. Because similar subcomponents can reside on different nesting levels, the model is radically changed by this command. A warning message is given reminding you to undo these changes prior to continuing with the model. Show nesting levels is a visual way of analyzing the structure of a model. It creates a layer for each nesting level that is found in the selection and sets the model display to color by layer. The layers use familiar AutoCAD colors. Red is 1, yellow is 2, green is 3, cyan is 4, blue is 5, magenta is 6. There are the new color layers each one used by a part of the selection. Undo the changes and the level layers get removed. You need to turn off color by layer to get to normal display modes. Think of nesting levels as the number of clicks it takes when editing a component. Raw geometry at the main level is white. Then one double click to edit is one level down. Two double clicks is two levels down. Another double click is three levels down, and so on. Show nesting levels helps you to review a model's construction with an eye towards simplicity for an end user to edit the product and change it or paint it. It is best to keep all main parts of a component at the first or second level down, red or yellow. Here the lamp is yellow because it has subassemblies, one for the shade and one for the body of the lamp. This lamp has even more subassemblies, but the main parts of the shade and base are only two levels deep, yellow. This floor lamp reveals a very deep level of nesting. The shade is good at level one, but the body goes down six levels. This is way too many, and the model should be restructured. The reviewer can notate the area of concern directly in SketchUp. Then use the Save Screen Image button to capture the screen as a JPEG file for communication. And there's the image in the same folder as the model. Save images at any time through the review. They are numbered for you. If nothing is selected in the model, the entire model gets analyzed for nesting levels. You can see there are many levels being used by red and yellow. This ceiling fan light looks suspicious with the gap in colors, and turning on hidden geometry, you see there are far too many polygons. Using model report, we can see there are over 82,000 polygons. Make a note to simplify the geometry, and save an image file for review records. This floor lamp shows some deep component nesting, but the parts that might require user interaction are at the second level and therefore acceptable. Some geometry is at the main level, shown in white. Use model report to view information about the selection. Notice in the top level information you can see the number of components and groups at the first level when editing the component. This is the red level. This also shows the total polygon count, very important for determining model simplification later. This lamp has over 30,000 polygons. Further investigation shows where the majority of these polygons occur. The edges and bolt holes have far too many polygons. The cord alone has 6,300 polygons. These should be simplified. Document that within image capture. When you do this much level checking on components in one file, remember to discard all changes to the file so you do not ruin your source file. Product models can appear just fine, but when you turn on section planes and guidelines as well as text and dimensions, 
You see this file is not ready for upload to 3D Warehouse. The Quick Check menu item counts all these unneeded elements and highlights them for visual inspection. The Count Stuff menu item lets you count just one type of element in the model and can highlight it for you as well. Let's look at the 3D Warehouse Cleaner. Opening the dialogs for materials, components, styles, and layers, the 3D Warehouse Cleaner lets you decide which things to delete from the model. The default is All Items. You are given a summary and you can see all the items disappear from each dialog, simplifying the model. The last step prior to upload is to check your polygon count before saving the component out to a product file.